So first of all, um, we are finally able to support users' uh, acceptance of site policies, site policies, uh, advanced site policies, or the uh, the two policy that is part of Moodle LMS. Uh, previously, the users were forced to use an ex external browser to um, review all the site policies and then accept all the policies in there. But uh, now it is possible just to accept all the site policies, including mandatory and optional policies uh, within the mobile application. And these screenshots, we are displaying the different ways that you can accept policies. You know that there are, you can configure your policies, so uh, you need to do the acceptance or not of all of them at the last page, or you can go one by one and accept um, its policy before the next one. So we are supporting basically everything. And we are also supporting um, the policies review uh, summary page that is also available in the user profile. So a user can check all the policies that are, uh, that he has, uh, that the user has accepted before or that are uh, pending. Another feature that we are now supporting for students in the app is all related to privacy and data requests. Um, we implemented this mostly for compliance with Google Play and Apple App Store policies. So our students, our users in general, are now able to contact the data, data privacy officer, um, create a new data request for saying, I want my user to be deleted or, or I want all my data exported. And everything that can be done in the LMS, in Moodle LMS, it will be able, it will be possible to be also done in a mobile application. More things is the communication tools integration, and we are doing something that is quite similar or most basically the same that Moodle LMS is doing. So when there is a course with communication tools enabled, we are displaying this uh, action button so they can join the external communication uh, system. Uh, this is something related to all the Android API level per and permissions that uh, we are working on. So basically, um, we are now adding a nice warning for users uh, that haven't accepted to receive notifications. So they can see this uh, warning and they can turn on uh, this feature in your mobile device that you know that you when you usually um, install a new mobile application, you are asked if you want to receive notifications, right? Sometimes you may say no, but then you can change your mind. And so we are providing this nice warning and option so you can do it uh, later in the most related screen. Um, also, uh, a similar warning has been added in, for the reminders, for the calendar reminders. And uh, we are doing this because this has changed a bit in Android and the exact alarms um, permission has changed in Android and now is disabled by default. So the only way to receive, to receive this kind of uh, alarms in a very specific time is by enabling uh, enabling enabling uh, sorry yeah so you need to enable a particular Android setting for this 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 app so and this is a shortcut for it and um, finally um, we are this is a work in progress but I wanted to share with you that we are now starting uh, working on adding the new uh, activity icons, uh, the new design, the new ones coming in 4.4. And yeah, so our plan is to make it as much as consistent as possible. And I think that they are looking great, uh, very clean design. So I really like it. We also spend some time trying to, trying to improve the uh, user experience uh, in general with a uh, block tool. So we basically did a bit of um, polishing in the user interface. Um, and as you can see, we included the options for, uh, for students to edit, delete, um, and also create a new, 
entries. Uh, as you know, the mobile application is mostly designed to be used by students. And um, this one, this was one of the missing features for students. They were able to see the block entries, but they were not able to contribute and manage uh, block entries.